at the same my name is AC Kokui welcome to my channel I have a new video for you today today is another episode of growing up African and I'm going to be talking just a little bit about my mom because Mother's Day just passed and why not celebrate my mom and just who she is as an African Ghanaian woman in America as well as the woman who raised me so let's get into it don't forget to subscribe like comment share all that jazz my mom doesn't like attention like this she doesn't like me talking about her like this but still gonna do it because it's my channel and she can sue um, <laughs> just kidding basically I'm not gonna give too much information but basically um, my mom is a psychologist and she went back to school um, I think around when my sister was born. She went back to school and she studied psychology and then she got her PhD. And, um, you know, during this whole process, I don't, I guess, when you become a psychologist, you have to do a year. Um, I don't know, I think maybe this, I don't know if it's just for her program or if this is just something for all psychologists, but she had to do a year in a different, state she could have stayed in california so there were i think two california options and then there were different options but we had to move to nebraska long story short <laughs> and yeah and we moved to nebraska for a year so she could continue pursuing her higher education and um and then she finally finished school we were back in california and now she is working as a psychologist with her own practice and yeah she's just an amazing amazing role model um i always say now i admit it i didn't want to admit it at the time but i always say that if i did not want to do broadcasting i probably would be like a psychologist or somewhere in that realm because i just like talking to people and hearing out their problems and you know kind of figuring out that solution of like what we can do to you know get things working better but I always think I'm too emotional for it I might be crying along in the therapy session with you so I can't do that like so my mom I uh, she's just a great role model to me you know growing up we didn't have always the best relationship um, just you know growing up pains of the me trying to figure out myself while having strict parents that didn't really let me go out and do things um so you know there was a lot of tug and pull with my parents especially my mom um because she has a very strong personality is it what'd you say she's just very good at saying no <laughs> She was always very great at saying no, so we just had a lot of pushback, but I feel like going to college and just like figuring out a different space of how to be mom and daughter. I even think when like it was my last year of high school, um, we kind of figured out the best way to communicate and we're still working on it. It's not perfect. We still, you know, are figuring out those things, also, but um, I just wanted to as I've been saying, like my mom and I have like, we had a little difficulty getting along when I was growing up. Um, but like this is also for those that do have issues with their mom and just letting you know that you have to build a type of communication where it'll work for the both of you, where you can agree to disagree and agree to come to some type of resolution within that you have to be calm and you have to um also have an open understanding to where they have come from um what they had to experience in their childhood as well and if you don't know ask and see and try and get that perspective as well um it's just important to understand your parents 
back your parents' background because sometimes you may not get maybe that's the reason why they're saying this maybe they went through something that was so crazy in their childhood that they're trying to protect you from and so you can kind of have a better understanding and maybe come to a resolution of what you can do better but i'm so thankful of you know where we are now and where we're going and yeah I love my mama. I absolutely love my mom and I appreciate like how much she has brought me and how much she's supported me, how much she's been there for me. Um, one time I got sick my freshman year really bad and I was in the hospital and you know she works long hours and she um, as soon as she was done with work or I think, yeah, because I called her late, but maybe as soon as she was done with work, as soon as she heard about it, she headed over from Tracy to San Francisco. And that's not, like, it's a long journey. <laughs> it can be a long journey because of the traffic during, you know, rush hour and just, like, all of that. And But she made her way out there. I felt like it, she came pretty fast dealing with all that traffic and stuff like that but she came out all the way and she just came to see if I was doing okay and you know she came and got me and I um, had to come back to Tracy for a little bit yeah she's just always like gone out of her way to help and make sure that I was okay and safe and I just honestly wouldn't trade my mom for the world um, and yeah she's just a great mother my mom just always made it possible for us to oh well, it was both of them my parents um they made it possible for us to be able to experience ghana this is just like an appreciation post of my mom and thank you so much for giving birth to me and i hope that i make you proud every day so Thank you guys for watching. I know this isn't the conventional growing up African story. Thank you so much for watching.